Cancers, this is your reading for March 25th through April 8th. Let's go ahead and jump in and see what the things are coming in towards you here during this full moon lunar eclipse in Libra and this new moon solar total, total eclipse here in Aries. Okay. What good things are coming in towards Cancer? You got, ooh, the sun. <laughs> All right, Cancer. Yes, you guys have the sun that is showing up for you. You guys have the King of Wands and you also have the Seven of Swords here. Okay, let's see what good things coming out with the sun. Wealth. I'll take it, Cancer. <laughs> I hope you guys accept it. Wealth is coming in towards you. Spirit might make it clear of how you can become wealthy in your life, both inner and outer. Okay, wealth is more than just money. It's more than just the coins on that card there. But I'm definitely seeing like there is an opportunity for you guys to establish that here in your life. Um, possibly with some endings here. It could be some endings that you're going to have with someone. It could be with, uh, it could be in something that you're thinking here as well. Like there, you guys have a change of mind. You're no longer your own worst enemy. You're going towards, um, new possibilities, opportunities. You're open to them. You may be doing things differently at this time. And you may be also, uh, cancer, just more, um, conscious of the company that you keep That's something else that i'm hearing yeah they're saying the archway most definitely take advantage of these opportunities this archway uh new opportunities possibilities and pathways are opening up to you you may meet someone that is a fire sign or this is the energy that they want you to embody right now just working towards your goals here also taking care of your family. A lot of good energy is coming in towards your family. The, this eclipse will be in your fourth house. So your fourth house is about, is about your home, your roots, your family, uh, self-care, your emotions, your foundation, what you're building on here. Um, you guys also have seahorse and it says family matters and that is clarifying the sun energy here. So there is positive energy moving in towards your family your home, your relationships, your wealth. This energy is really good. Okay. Uh, this energy is really good. They're letting you know here as well, clarifying the seven, excuse me, seven of swords and the caterpillar. If you are going through challenging times, things will not always be this way. A change is coming and it, it may be directly due to what you're doing. Okay. What you're choosing to pay attention to and who you're choosing to entertain at this time. Uh, yeah, you will be successfully overcoming some problems. So if you do have some people in your life that are quite toxic or negative or um, manipulative here, I see you overcoming or being able to overcome those challenges. <clears throat> only, be only because you're choosing to do so. Okay. You guys may have family coming in to see you as well. You have the horse and the sun. So I feel like they're short travel. You may have family. Um, I just saw someone moving into a new home or an apartment. Condo. Okay. Um, moving into a new place. You may be able to move you and your family somewhere else. That's what I'm hearing here. All right. There's also, you guys have the romance, the fan showing up here. There's going to be a lot of celebration, I feel. Um, and this is developing over the next six months, this energy. But you're setting the foundation right now, uh, Cancer, for this to happen. Close, the dog close up is pleasure with friends. The fan is about celebration and family, friends, parties. There's some celebration happening for you. Okay. It could be graduations. It could be also a relationship uh, that you're entering into a marriage or a uh, marriage proposal here. Um, or some of you guys, this won't resonate with all of you, maybe getting engaged here as well. I see someone possibly significant moving into your life that opens up a new path. Uh, the King of Wands. That's what I'm talking about because that's what we're clarifying. Okay. So the opportunity is here for you. 
new opportunities, possibilities, and pathways are opening up. What other unexpected things are opening up here for Cancer Spirit? Ooh, that shot out here. Maybe you being confused or not making decisions right away. I feel like you guys uh, are going to be become more clear on your path here. Ooh, and you're you're not accepting the past back. That's something else that I'm hearing. A lot of you guys may be closed off to giving second chances to people because your cards are coming out in the reverse position. So the uh, judgment card, you guys may be releasing some situation or some people that refuse to change. That's what this makes me feel like. It's like someone is refusing to change and you're no longer going to be entertaining them. You're moving on, making decisions using your conscious mind, your subconscious mind. Um... I should say your analytical mind and your intuitive mind, okay, to help you move past challenging situations. You're very strategic, Cancer, right, and purposeful, okay, in your energy and the decisions that you're making right now. So I don't see anything holding you back. I don't see you allowing people and situations to hold you back because you guys may have dealt with that already. You may have given people. The benefit of the doubt, you slowed yourself down, you slowed your life down for these individuals with the Caterpillar card, maybe it's business or fight, uh, romantic here, uh, or personal, which caused a lot of tension in your life because I'm, I'm clarifying the King of Swords, okay? Uh, 10 situations that created a lot of worry or fear in your life, but I don't see you doing that anymore. I see you um, really standing up for yourself and taking charge, King of Wands energy, and also the King of Swords here. They're asking you to pay attention to your finances here and get back to the basics of taking care of you. They're asking you to take care and pay attention to your health right now at this time and to keep your life in balance this is important if you got because the scales are showing up here and this um penumbral um full moon okay in libra it's going to be in libra that's why they're showing up with the scales here and they're telling you to keep your life in balance if you guys are seeing the number seven or the justice card a lot coming out for you that is a really powerful energy and a powerful sign spirit is just reminding you here cancer that all things that are balanced thrive and uh, all things that are unbalanced eventually destruct here so keep your life in balance okay don't be afraid to make decisions that need to be made cut off things that need to be cut off or work work towards healing at this time i feel like you guys are protected here okay and you're highly favored at this time as well okay let's get your final messages out what final messages do you have here spirit for cancer Final message here for Cancer. All right, Spirit is saying, of course, you will make mistakes, but the biggest one would be not to try. You have nothing to lose. This thing you have been thinking about for a long time, just go for it. It's like the full card, okay? Take a leap of faith and go for it. Whatever you're deciding to go off and do, take charge in your life, uh, over your life. Okay, and go towards doing it, especially with the awakening card being in the reverse position and the two of wands being in the reverse position. Okay, um, they're saying better an oops than a what if. They're reminding you that they are always here to assist you, your spirit guides. Okay, okay. <laughs> they're asking you not to reminisce on the past okay when you continue to reminisce replay or hold on to what could have been you continue to hold yourself in a place of resistance let what was inspire a new way of living but don't allow it to limit and determine what can be okay that is your reading here cancer i appreciate each and every one of you guys we're just taking a quick look at all of the good things good energy that can be uh that will be coming in because i want you to claim this good energy um to your life 
over the next six months that's when the energy will expand things will develop over the next six months even though we're just going through these eclipses it's going to continue to magnify and uh, expand for you okay remember these eclipses are connected to your destiny so everything that you're thinking doing uh, talking about okay really connects you to the future energy and what you're going to be experiencing here okay you guys leave me a comment let me know how you feel about the reading here cancer and i'll see you in your next one take care love bye